After doing this project for almost two years, with a room this size, I've completely run out of places to put this camera, and I really want to be, you know, creative and exciting and new, but <laughs> I'm out of I'm out of space, so I may have to go back to the old faithful. This is probably the most commonly used shot in this whole project, but it works. I mean, it fills it up. Ignore how messy my bed is. It fills out, you know, the whole room pretty well, and it's easy to set up. I just have it, I have my camera on top of some books, so I guess I'll keep using it because it's worked pretty well so far. I've got good news for you past me, and I've got bad news, and usually I like to start with the bad news because it makes the good news seem that much better, so... That's what I'm going to do. Uh, as you expected, Allison did not really get all the Spongebob jokes that you made in your Origin of Walden story. Or if she did get them, she didn't really say that she did. All she did was write, very funny, on the top of your paper and then hand it back to you. And without going as much into detail and without being as harsh as you were yesterday, that's pretty much what the rest of her class is like. And... That's It's kind of disappointing, because as you said yesterday, most of your work, you don't put all, you know, all of your effort into it. You put as little as possible. And I'm disappointed that you and I did that last year, because that's not how you advance yourself in education. That's how you get stuck in a rut. And when you just put in this much effort, you're not living up to the full potential of what you could be doing. Don't get me wrong, some of the papers you wrote last year, or I wrote last year, or we wrote last year, if you want to get really weird, um, they're not bad. But just think how much better they could have been if we had gone into every single assignment with everything we had. Just some food for thought. This year, the assignments that you get are way more thought-provoking, and you are actually putting all of your effort into it because you want them to be good and you're using terms that you didn't even think of using last year because they weren't taught to you stuff like diction syntax rhetorical analysis and it's a great class really it is Matt is a great teacher um, today we we're talking about the use of expletives in literature and when it's a good thing and when it's a bad thing and when it gets kind of blurry as to what it is um, <laughs> it was funny, while he was talking about this, Ben, who was not in the class, just like snuck up to the doorway in the hallway, so he crept over and peeked his head in, and Matt just flips around and goes, oh hey, and Ben disappears, it's hilarious. He swore a couple times today just for, you know, just for dramatic effect. It sounds a lot different than when last year we would be reading a story and Allison would s say it because I mean Matt is a cool guy and he sounds a lot more natural when he's saying like God or ah than Allison did so you know oh,